Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so um, this is the first of uh, three videos on the nth roots of complex numbers, and all three of them are really fun. Uh, by the end of this video, you'll think that this one is really fun, and therefore, I uh, believe that the others are also. Yeah, <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so how do we start? Well, suppose we're trying to answer the question, what is the cube root of 8i? Right now, we could um, rephrase this question as saying that what we're trying to do is really find a complex number z, which in polar form is written as r cis theta. But yeah, what we're trying to do is find a complex number z such that z cubed is equal to 8i. That's exactly what it would mean for z to be the cube root of 8i. That is for z cubed to equal 8i. If this is true, then clearly z is the cube root of 8i, right? Okay, 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 cool. Now, before we move on, important to point out that this here is technically wrong because it should say um, it means that there are three complex numbers. Yes, I'm saying the cube root of 8i has uh, three answers. Yeah, in fact, this is not true just for 8i, it'd be true for just 8. That is, the cube root of 8 is three answers. Yes, you heard me right. Like, because you're thinking, wait, what? The cube root of 8 is 2, and that's all I know. Well, yeah, that may be all you know, but the cube root of 8 is not just 2. There are two other answers. It's just that the other two answers are complex numbers, and people, like, don't like talking about complex stuff, even though it's not that complex if you just talk about it. And so, yeah. Um... In fact, I can say this, and it's true, which is every complex number has three cube roots. Every complex number has four fourth roots. Every complex number has five fifth roots, and so on and so on. You get it. And since real numbers are complex numbers, that is, 8 is a complex number. It's 8 plus 0i. Yeah, because all real numbers are complex numbers. I'm saying even for real numbers, um, they have three cube roots, they have four fourth roots, and yada yada. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Enough said, enough said. <laughs> All right, so, 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 how do we go from here and answer the question, what is the cube root of 8i? Well, first, let's write 8i in complex form, that is in r cis theta form. 8i in complex form would be 8 cis 90. Now, these are details I'm not going to talk about here because I have uh, introductory videos on uh, complex numbers in polar form, how to multiply them in polar form, and De Moivre's theorem. So watch those uh, videos, um, and you'll know, you know, why, for example, 8i is 8 cis 90. Yeah, but since z is r cis theta, z cubed will have to be r cubed cis 3 uh, theta, and this is also something that's covered in those intro videos. So watch them. Yeah, cool. So then that means that we have z cubed in polar form here. We have 8i in polar form here. So we can just compare the two polar forms. That is, we can write the following. So we do that. And then from here, it follows that r cubed is 8 and 3 theta is equal to 90. Right? And that's what we take away. Cool. Uh, that's important. From r cubed is equal to 8, we get that r is equal to 2. So for all three answers, uh, that is, for all three cube roots of 8i, this r will have to be 2. And uh, what about the theta? Uh, well, since we see that 3 theta must equal uh, 90, we start off with this. And actually, 3 theta mustn't equal 90. 3 theta uh, must equal 90 plus or minus 360n, where n is a whole number. That is 0, 1, 2, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to say n is an integer because of this plus or minus. Um, yeah, but in any case, um, yeah, instead of just 3 theta is equal to 90, we need to say this because, well, uh, we can identify 90 as um, 90 plus 360, so we can loop back around to it, right? Like 90s right here, we can uh, loop back around, and so 90 plus 360 would also get us to the same spot, right? And we could instead go the other way, and so that's the minus part. Like, but basically, like we can uh, come back to ninety by circling around three three sixty, like uh, multiples of three sixty, uh, to the right or to the left, and uh, therefore why we need to write this because ninety is all of these are ninety, 
that they're the same spot if uh, you have a fixed radius, which is two in this case. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, you should know this from like, you know, trigonometry and stuff. But anyway, um, now we can reduce this um, by dividing both sides by three. And if we do that, then we get that theta uh, is equal to actually uh, 30 plus or minus uh, 120n. Let me go back to this uh, 90 plus or minus 360n business and say that like, so I'm saying that 90 is the same as a degree measure. It's the same as uh, it's the same as negative 270, which is 90 minus 360. It's the same as uh, 450. Uh, that's 90 plus 360, and infinitely many other angles that I could name by adding multiples of 360 to the right or to the left. Um, but yeah, uh, which is subtracting them, right? Um, okay, now, but among all those infinitely many ways to say the um, measure 90 degrees, 90 is what's called a principal. Um, value or a principal angle and so you should know that uh, language because well it's important and I might use it uh, a little bit later in this video um, yeah okay okay but yeah we get that like uh, the theta that must go in here for the cube roots of 8i uh, they must look like this they must be um, 30 plus or minus uh, 120 n well when uh, n is 0 we just get 30 when n is 1 we get 150 and when n is 2 we get uh, 270 right or we don't need to go anymore because, well, if we go to the right or to the left by adding um, 120 each time or subtracting 120 each time, we're going to come back to these guys because these are the principal angles to all of the other angles you'd get if we keep adding uh, 120 more each time to the right or subtract it uh, to the left. We're just going to come back to these. For example, uh, if uh, we... Uh, go to 270 and add 120 then what we're gonna get is uh what's that like 390 but 390 is the same uh theta as 30. so that's why we mustn't go uh, beyond these guys and cool so these are uh principal values of theta for the three cube roots um yeah okay okay so we plug in these theta values one at a time and uh the r values two for all of them as i said and we get our three cube roots of um, 8i and so one of them is this fella remember cis means cosine theta plus i times sine theta where where this is the theta so if you interpret this as what I just said and multiply the result by 2 then you'll be able to see why in rectangular uh, form the first answer is a root 3 plus i but yeah in polar form it's 2 cis 30 and you know where the uh, 2 came from and the 30 uh, comes from. So in polar form, all you need to do is get to the uh, r value and the theta value and you'll be able to figure out whatever complex number you're after. And so uh, next is 2 cis 150. And yeah, okay, and you guessed it. The last one is going to be 2 cis 270. Okay, cool. Now, I think it's always very satisfying to talk about the geometry behind like uh, any algebra you do. So uh, in other words, uh, it's, it'd be really nice if we could uh, understand the geometry of how these cube roots uh, of 8i um, play around, right? Like the visually, like what do they mean? And so that's what we're going to talk about for the bulk of all it remains. But let's quickly uh, state something that we can observe here, which is that it looks like the cube root of any complex number z, not just 8i, but any complex number z, would be executed this way, because that's exactly what we did here for the cube root, which is this here represents the 30. It's the 90 divided by uh, 3. And this is the uh, 120 um, n here, or like, yeah. And, and well, it's really 120k because n is uh, for the uh, nth root, and so it's 1 over n here. It's just n is 3, so we've already used uh, the n. It's the 3. And so so in this part, had I uh, uh, had I used n like I have done here, well, I, I, I would have made a different choice for n here, but you get it, you get it. So basically, don't let the n I'm going to write in the general formula version of this I'm going to write the n here, here, everywhere you see a 3. Don't let that be confused with this n is what I'm saying. But in any case, you see that this this spits out all three answers. Because in this part, you get 120 times k. And it's going to be for k equals 
uh, 0, 1, 2. So when k is equal to 0, you have a 30 plus 120 times 0. So that's 30 in here. So that's uh, 8 to the 1 third. That's 2. And that's 2 for all of them anyway, because that stays fixed, as you can see in the general cube root formula for any complex number z, right? So 30 in this case, because um, we know theta is 90, plus uh, uh, 120 times 0. So that's the 30. And then 120 times uh, 1 plus 30, that's the 150. 120 times 2 uh, plus the 30, that's the 270. So you see that this works in this case. And in fact, you can now, moving forward, use this as a formula for the uh, cube root of any complex number you'd like. Uh, but after this, let's talk about the geometry I promised. OK, so you see like in the imaginary real axis so on the complex plane even though this circle is you know not there it's imaginary and these lines are not there i have our three complex numbers here here and here the three cube roots of 8i now uh, this is pretty revealing because what it's telling us is well once you've got the r and the theta value for one of them since uh, you're doing cube roots here you need to divide the angles in a circle so that's 360 you need to, you need to divide it by 3 since you're doing cube root so if you divide 360 by 3 you get 120 so once you get to one of the complex numbers by using uh, how far out it is radially that is the modulus which is 2 so once you find one of the cube roots and figure out its length from the origin that which is 2 and its degree measure if what you're doing is cube roots you could just add 120 to get to another one, and you could add another 120 to get to the third one, and you could add 120 more to get back to the first one. But basically, like cube roots are 120 degrees apart uh, as complex numbers represented visually in this way, always. And so fourth roots will be 90 degrees apart, and fifth roots would be uh, whatever 360 divided by 5 is and so on you get it you get it okay um, I just got exposed on my arithmetic there okay um, but uh, what else do I want to say well yeah so other than talking about the distribution of um, nth roots of complex numbers in, in this manner like how far apart they are as far as angles um, other than talking about this I suppose another really cool thing to understand is visually why um, these are in fact the cube roots of this guy so I have in green here 8i and these are the three cube roots right again these lines and the circles wouldn't normally be there uh, the complex numbers just appear as dots here 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 and this guy there right but in any case uh, this is gonna help us with the visual of um, why for example this guy here is in fact the cube root of this guy here so this guy, remember, would be minus 2i. That's um, uh, in r cis theta form when we have r is 2 and uh, theta is 270. What we're going to get is minus 2i, right? OK, so why is this guy minus 2i the cube root of uh, 8i? Well, because um, if you start here, which is at uh, 2 and then 270 which is minus 2i if you start here and you multiply uh, by minus 2i uh, again so you multiply minus 2i and minus 2i so if you multiply if you do that product then from uh, my introductory videos on complex multiplication I said that you multiply the moduli which is the length from the origin you multiply those two and then you add the angles so again minus 2i in polar form is 2 cis 270. It's 2 cis 270. And so if you multiply minus 2i and minus 2i, then you're multiplying 2 cis 270 and 2 cis 270. And what you do there is you multiply the 2 and the 2, which gets you a 4, and you add the angles, which is you add 270 and 270. So upon multiplying minus 2i once by minus 2i, what you're going to do is you're going to go from minus 2i here. And since you're going to add 270, you're going to go um, 90, 90, and 90. You're going to end up here as far as the angle, uh, which is 540. But then the uh, moduli 2 and 2 are going to multiply. So you're going to get to 4. So since this was 2 here, 4 would be like right here. So this is 4, 540. 
and that's the product of uh, minus 2i by itself. And so minus 2i times minus 2i, that's what will get you to this spot. But we're going to multiply once more. That way we have minus 2i all cubed because we're trying to verify that it's going to be the same as 8i. Now we're right here, right? And so now, again, because minus 2i is 2 cis 270, we're going to multiply the 4 modulus that we have here by 2. That's going to get us to 8, which is right here. And then we need to go 270 around. Remember, once in the past at least, uh, at least once, I had said that uh, multiplying complex numbers is like rotation. It ends up being rotation, and this is why you're seeing it again, right? So we're at 8, and then we go 270, so that's once here, that's 90, 90 more, and then another 90 would get us to 270, which is why this cubed is this. Yeah, cool. All right, so not much more left to say uh, other than, well, now that we're here, uh, this here is just like copying that down here and what we're gonna do for the general formula is mimic this so we can take this and as I said the general formula is replacing all these threes with an n so if we do that we see that the general formula is going to be this here so using this you can find any nth root of any complex number yeah okay cool and of course like we need to have a qualifier for k and it should be k ranges from 0 to n minus 1. And that's that, right? Moving by analogy from this, right? Okay, cool. All right. Uh, as I said, this is the first of three videos, and I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> and um, two more to come on this topic. Keep watching. Take care.